My new place. Let's do a tour. Hey! This is the entire place. Oh my god, I'm like slightly dizzy. Assalamu alaikum, hello dinosaurs. It's your Muslim friend, Dina. It has been forever, so I'm sure you can see what is new. My house. Let me show you my house. Let's do a house tour. Let's go. The front door. This is where I leave my recycling so I can take it out easily. And I finally have a place to put my shoes. And then here I just have some bags, my hat, and my umbrella over there in the corner. They installed a light here in the hallway for me, which is nice. And they installed this extra security lock, which is also nice. Now let's go to my bathroom. The wonderful world of the bathroom. Oh god. So this is the entire bathroom. I have like shampoo and stuff on the toilet. My washing machine this time is in the bathroom. They gave me the downstairs neighbor's washing machine because the other one that was in here, I literally cleaned 16 times and it was still dirty. This is my furnace. It has a really nice hole here, which I plugged up. And then also when you open it, which is hard to do, but when you open it, there's a really nice hole just literally into the outside world. So I decided to put some bubble wrap to not freeze my butt off. There's the shower. You need a filter in Korea because look how nasty that is. Thank you, filter, for catching that. I hang some clothes up here to dry sometimes, so I put up a shower rod and that... What is this called again? Clothing hangers? This is also from Daiso. This thing was already in the house. And then I have my towels and toilet paper up there. Just like laundry essentials. One thing I want to point out is I do have a drain cover. Now this is actually like a silicone heat placement mat. And I put it over my drain because the bathroom likes to smell like absolute doo-doo. Like the entire neighborhood's doo-doo smell. Just lovely. It just flows into my bathroom. So I keep it closed. And I also put some lining from Daiso, but it's shrunk and stuff over time. So maybe I'll get more lining later. So how much did this place cost? I had to pay 5 million won as a deposit, and then every single month I pay 450,000. Now, my rent does include building maintenance and water. Everything else, like internet, electricity, and gas is on me, and my last house actually had internet come with it. So, I had to set up internet here for the first time in my life, and I'm like, how do I do this in Korean? But I mean, I got internet now, and it's fairly cheap. It's like 14,000 a month because it's like linked up with my phone, so that's nice. Maybe you've noticed, but I bubble wrapped and lined my door as well. And then I put up a curtain here because I don't want to see the ugly doorway. And this is the main living area where I have my kitchen area with dirty dishes, yay. And my selfie stand and some plants. And over there is where I study and do my makeup. Bookshelf with plants, makeup and skincare and hair care and random technology I have to put somewhere area. Over here we have more books, obviously, and random storage, like my old cell phone. And like, I like to buy two or three of a lot of things because it's cheaper to buy like three conditioners, so I store them there. And then there is my bed. I'm sure you guys recognize my bed from last time. It's basically the same setup this time. So under the bed I have the same pictures as before. I brought side up from the States. This is my couch and I'm gonna buy more of these pillows from Daiso because it's softer than my couch is. And then here I have like books and stuff that I'm currently reading and writing in and then in here oh my god so you guys see those those are marimo they're actually made of algae and i bought a different kind of plant that i put in here and it died already but anyway on that plant came a pet 
Now I have a snail. I wasn't expecting a snail. I call it Daipengi, which is the Korean word for snail. Its name is snail. I have two closets in this place, which is nice because now that I've put away my winter clothes, I have a lot more space in here. Yay! And my other clothing closet, which is a lot more packed. Yay! Of course, I have a plant up there. My bamboo plant, microwave tea kettle, and my refrigerator. So, all of these magnets I actually made. My friend gave me these, and this is stickers. So I just cut them out, because I didn't want to actually use the sticker, and I, I dropped it. And then I just put, like, a magnet on the back. So, if I ever want to use them as stickers, I can. But for now, they just live as magnets. My kitchen area, where I have drying dishes and dirty dishes. I now have two burners. One, two. This is how you live a rich lifestyle, guys. Two burners, really nice. It's on gas, really nice. I got this from Daiso, really nice. I got this from Artbox, really nice. And then I have more cat thingies here, really nice. Yeah! And I have so much more storage. My last place, I literally only had this one section, but now I have so many more sections. It's really nice. Really nice. And there's more calcifer over here, really nice. And then I have plants that some of them keep dying. I'm so sorry, plants. This place doesn't get a lot of sunlight. These ones are the newest ones. Please stop dying, please. The sun is coming back. I put a few of them outside, but I'm not gonna show you outside. I got a candle that my friend actually made and gave to me. And I also brought some random little trinkets from the States, like, you know, Charmander and Bulbasaur and, and Blastoids. And this rock is really cool because when you put it up in the light, it changes color, y'all. I thought that was cool. Again, I brought that from the States because, you know, you gotta bring your childhood, childhood rocks with you when you move to a new country. This house has come with a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Yes, and it has not ended. My last house had a lot of trouble, but it was like a different kind of trouble. And this house doesn't have the problems that my last house had. It just has a new set of problems. And I'm like, why, why? Some good points about this place is I really like the location. It's way more convenient for me to work from this location. And that's one of the main reasons I moved because I was spending so much time just traveling, I was exhausted. And then also I do like how big this place is, which is really nice. And it seems slightly more soundproof than my last place, or maybe my neighbors are just more considerate. I'm not sure. They're still loud. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I can still hear them, but at least I don't feel like I'm actually living with them, you know? Like if she farts or sneezes over there, I don't hear it. But my last house, well like my, my guy neighbor farted or sneezed, I heard everything. I don't know, maybe he was just a really loud farter and sneezer, or the walls were just paper thin, I don't know. Bad things about this house. There is quite a few. Ah, uh, hmm. I just got the air conditioner professionally cleaned. And the air conditioner guy said this is the dirtiest air conditioner he's ever seen in his entire life. And he's been working at this job for 18 years. Washing machine, I washed it 16 times and it was still dirty. This must be magic. I've literally never seen floors like this before. That's when all of a sudden the smell starts leaking out of the ceiling and the walls and the floor. And you're like, what the What does it smell? Why does it smell like smoke? I don't smoke. Why would I smoke? Smoking is like slowly killing yourself and wasting money at the same time. 
What's the point? I cleaned the floor like 35 times when I first moved in. I mean, even though, you know, they said they'd clean it. They said a lot of things that they didn't do, you know, you know. And then also my kitchen sink was leaking ever so slightly for a month. Remember to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, hit the notification bell, and keep evolving dinosaurs. Bye bye. I have hair. I just clicked that. Is there? I promise. It has been forever, and I hope you guys are doing well.